Hey guys, it's Jackson here with Titanic Games, and today I want to be showing you how to set up uh, basic jumping and also a double jump uh, kind of functionality. So um, let's get to it. Uh, so starting off, I am continuing from my uh, past, my previous tutorial on basic movement. Uh, so if you want, you can check that out. Um, but this should work for just about any character that you have. So first things first, let's open up the uh, your character blueprint. And inside, you should notice that you have some rotation and movement functionality, uh, but we don't have you know any jumping set up at all. So what we need to do is we need to go to Edit, Project Settings, Input, and we're going to use an action mapping to do this. So basically what this does is, well, click the plus to add, um, and we're going to name it Jump. So basically what this does is it provides like a very convenient way to um, you know, I guess map or you know bind a key to an event. So uh, the key we're going to use uh, for PC is spacebar. So you can use whatever key you want, but um, you know traditionally on PCs you use the spacebar to jump. Uh, so we also want to set this up for a controller. So we're going to add another one, and we're going to use face button uh, bottom. Oops, face button. Ugh. face button bottom just like that so this is gonna be the bottom face button of you know a controller so for the Xbox that's gonna be the a key for, or the a button um, for the ps4 it's gonna be the X um, so it's always gonna be that bottom button and you know traditionally on con console games uh, or yeah on console games they use you know that button for jumping uh, but again you can use uh, whatever will whatever button will suit your needs. So we can exit out of project settings and go back to the my character event graph and right click, type in jump, and choose the action event. So you may have noticed that there was already another kind of jump function shown, and that's because Unreal has some built-in uh, jumping mechanics. So off of jump or off of press, we want to drag out and type in jump again, and choose the one under character. So just jump. And then off of released, we want to do stop jumping. And so basically that's it. It's really simple actually. So if you compile and save, you can press play now. And if I press space bar, I will jump. So simple as that really. Um, if you want to customize your jumping, you can click character movement. And then in the search bar, type jump. That will get you right to the jumping section. And you can play around with a lot of these values, like the jump Z velocity. This is how uh, fast and high he jumps. So, say we set this to something like 2,000. You know, compile it. Let's press play. Now, if I press spacebar, he's gonna you know launch really high into the sky because he's jumping at a velocity of 2,000 units. So, it's pretty pretty fast. You know, not very realistic, but kind of fun. Um, so, you can play around with that if you want. There's also the air control uh, that's kind of useful. If you want full air control, you know, you can set it to a value of one. Um, but usually lower values are more realistic, so um, I'm just going to stick with the defaults for now. Um, and so that's all of that. Uh, and one last thing, if you ever find that your uh, jumping isn't working, it could be that uh, under the nav movement for the movement capabilities, you might have can jump unticked. So by default, it should it should be set to true, uh, but you know some somehow you know maybe it could be set to untrue. So. Um, just make sure that that's set to true. And so that is the basic uh, that's the basic overview of setting up jumping. Um, and now I'm going to show how to uh, set up a double jump. Um, so first thing we want to do um, is create two new variables. Uh, so the first one we're going to do is called jump counter. So this is going to count uh, how many times that we jump. The next one we want to do is called max oops, max jumps. And this will be obviously the maximum amount of times that we can jump. So now we need to compile and save because uh, we need to compile to be able to set um, the default values. So we're going to leave the default value of jump counter to zero, but for max jumps, I'm going to set it to two. So this means that the character will be able to jump, uh, you know, twice. So essentially a double jump. So off of press, what we want, what we want to do is drag off, do a branch. And what we're going to do is check to see 
uh, if our jump counter is less than our max jumps. Because if it is, then we want to be able to jump again. Um, but if it's not, right, so if jump counter is, you know, greater than or equal to uh, max jumps, then we don't want to uh, jump anymore, we don't want to do anything. Um, but if it if it's less than, then what we're going to do is we're going to drag off here, we're going to do a plus, and we're just going to add one. So, you know, adding one to adding one jump to our counter. And then from there, we need to set uh, the set the jump counter to that value and hook up the true to it because every time that we jump it's going to you know check do this check see if our jump counter is less than max jumps and if it is then it's going to you know increment our jump counter um, so that we can keep track of how many jumps we've done so we'll compile save just for safety um, and now the only other thing we need to do now is have a way to uh, set our jump counter back to zero. And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to do event on landed. And this is uh, an, a built-in event that Unreal has that basically it will call whenever the character lands on the ground. So whenever they aren't falling anymore, basically. So off of this, we're going to drag off. We're going to say set uh, you know, jump counter to zero. And that's it. So that's it for the code. Now what we need to do is go to my, or go to our self and find jump max hold time. Now this is important because if we have it set to zero, we aren't going to be able to uh, do our double jump. So if I press play right now and show you, I'm pressing spacebar a bunch, but I can only jump once. So what we need to do is set that jump max hold time to a slightly higher value. So I find that uh, 0.1 usually works pretty well. Um, you don't want it to be too high because, um, well, as the name suggests, it's the maximum amount of time that you can hold the jump, right? So, so if you set it to like one, a value of one, then for one full second, uh, for one full second, the care or the player could hold the space bar and continually apply that jump Z velocity, uh, which you don't want. So setting it to something low will still allow the player to do his, uh, do their double jump. Um, but it won't allow the player to, you know, fly up into the air really, really out of control. So if I press play here, now I'm going to press space bar once, press it again, and I just jump twice. So there we go. We got our little double jump working. So now I just want to show you what I mean now um, by the max hold time. So if I set it to one, wait for it to compile, press play. So I'm just going to press it once, and you can see he kind of flies up into the air. So now if I do it twice, you know, then you go really high. Um, and so we don't want that. So that's why we need to set it to um, a low value that isn't, uh, you know, that isn't, uh, oh, wrong one, <laughs> set it to a low value that isn't zero. Um, so with that, that should be everything that you need uh, to create your double jump. Um, and if you want, you know, to add more jumps, simply just, you know, add on to the max jump. So let's set it to eight, for example, you know, and we'll be able to, you know, do eight kind of thing. See, so each, each little jump, woohoo. So uh, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, and if you want to see more, you know, subscribe below, uh, like the video. I mean, it doesn't matter really. <laughs> um, but yeah, we hope to see you um, in the next video. So thank you.